Alright, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, today I want to show you how to identify variable with missing value So, let's say I have a data Let me call a very big data Data table Library Data1 F read File.choose so I'm going to select a very high dimensional data which is, which is uh, I having a, a lot of variable in the, my data set right so let's look at the dimension of the data one so I have basically 22,256 variable with 184 uh, observation so now I want to know in this data set is there any missing value in the data set so by having a very large data which is uh, 22,256 so I can use uh, some uh, method first method by using uh, descriptor uh, package uh, so I need to call the library descriptor right uh, descriptor and then um, by using ds screening screener uh, on the data one so it will show me the the variable that having a missing value so let me make it bigger so in this uh, by using this package when you have very large data large uh, variable so it hard to see which variable is having a missing value so if you scroll up uh, you will found one or two variable that having a missing value so at the end so if you can see here I, I found Z and F 292 having a missing a one missing value right and it's quite hard to to figure out which variable that having a missing value because since I having a, a very large data variable so overall missing value there are 47 missing values a row with missing value is 36 and column with missing value is 46 means that I uh, my variable is uh, arranged in column so I have uh, 46 uh, variable that having missing value so I think by using this package is uh, is uh, nice to have lah, huh? is but it's not really solving your problem when you have a very high dimensional data so another Another uh, solution is by using a base package. So we can know overall uh, missing data by base package. So how to do that? We use a table is na so data one. Right. So it will tell us uh, there are forty seven missing values. Same as uh, result given by a uh, descriptor package right so but uh, however by using this uh, method also is not really solving our problem uh, our problem now our objective now is we want to edit uh, we want to identify which variable what is the variable name that having a missing value so one of uh, the first method is quite convincing by they, they, they will summarize for us all the variable in the data set and but when you have a very large uh, high dimensional data so it's quite hard to see or to summarize the variable name so another method is by using deployer method you by using deployer package right so by using deployer package let me make it okay so we need to call library deployer right and then uh, I'm going to use uh, some function so I want R to summarize for me all the variable that having the all the variable names that having missing value so what can I do is data one so using a piping so I'm going to use function select if so I'm going to put a function X any is dot na x right 
So I'm going to store this in missing missing object, right? And then I'm going to run this, and then uh, wait for a while because this is a very I'm having a very large uh, data, uh, very high dimension data where where I'm having a twenty two thousand variables. So it take uh, quite some time, sir. All right. So once R is already finished in analyzing the data, uh, missing data, so we can print uh, names of the data that having a missing value. So here we have 46 variable that having missing value, same as uh, uh, summary analyzed by a descriptor package. So, but uh, by using the plier package here, by using this function, we or we can identify uh, the variable that having a missing value. So, if you type table data one, so with uh, this, let's say we take sp one hundred forty, right? So we can easily know that uh, this data is have uh, which uh, which one which part is having a missing value oh, sorry uh, we want to put is now nah. right so we know that uh, for this uh, variable what yeah, it having a one a single missing value so which part is having a missing value let's say we try to put data frame data one uh, group data one and the variable name so uh, we can see the row number uh, 55 is having a missing value right so this is uh, the the nice method lah, uh, to to identify which uh, variable is having a missing value so we, it can be it can summarize for us uh, easily in one uh, output output uh, so we can know which variable is having missing value in from 22,254 56 uh, variable we identify 46 uh, variable having a missing value so next the question is uh, how to do a data imputation how to impute missing data with mean or median right so to input the missing data with mean or median, let's say we can use the library called as uh, hi hmisc library uh, hsmi uh, hmisc. So this library have a function called as input. Right, so so let's look at the input function from HMISC. So generic in function and method for imputation. So this function do simple transcan uh, transcan imputation and print summarize a subscript variable that have NAs fill in with input values. So what does it do? It, it can uh, input the data the missing value with median mean and so on lah. so let's say uh, so by default is median lah if you are not some uh, putting any uh, argument uh, it, it will impute by median right instead of spe uh, specifying a function as find a single value or vector numeric if object is vector is specified so we can also replace it with uh, mean right uh, so let's look at this one Let's see it impute h with mean this is the example from the help file it impute the data with random right so let's look at uh, by this data right okay let's look at this one i just copy it back so this variable we found one variable is having a missing data Right, so let's look at, let's try to input the data. So let's say I copy SP140 input data1 uh, with median. Right, so this is by default lah. I just want to replace it with mean, for example. So 
when I replace it with mean, so if you look at the data table, uh, it's not, there are currently no uh, missing value already because uh, the missing value is already replaced by the value of mean. So let's look at another uh, example. Let's say I pick up this one, ZNF 200 and, uh, 217. So let's say um, table is not data one okay so same as uh, sp140 zen and f uh, 217 also having a single missing value so we can input the data data one uh, input data one with median right so if you check again right check again so there are no missing value already right so this is a, a, a very nice function but if you look relate it to our problem here we have 46 variable that having a missing value so if you want to do uh, a step like this uh, impute the data one by one manually like this so it will take uh, some time lah. So it's uh, quite impractical, right? If you have more than 100, let's for example, if you have more than 1000, so it will take a lot of time and sometimes you will need to recheck again and again. So we need to use a, a, a loop function, a flow function. So let's say I'm using for, uh, so this is uh, impute data simul like so I'm going to use for function right let's say let's set i equal to 1 for i in names in m so this is m right this is m which is a missing value oh, sorry uh, this is missing right Thing, right so it means uh, this one is already uh, come out because I already done it before so this is uh, data one which is uh, I'm going to select uh, if you still remember uh, the bracket the square bracket represent this is uh, the first one represent row and the second one represent column so I want R to identify the I value in column, right? And re input it with data one. Input data one uh, column and with min, right? So, all right. So, so here. Uh, this is the the way that we need to 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 specify in R to to for R to to input the data simultaneously without doing manually like this, right? So we can do it uh, using R. Wait, uh, what is the problem here? Um, Right. Um, so this uh, R is giving us uh, error. This is because in data table package, uh, this cannot understand the symbol uh, bracket inside argument uh, bracket argument. So what I did is I changed the the reading of the data by using read.csv, and then I redo the the same process, which is uh, identifying. The missing value right so now um, so now I need to go I'm going to identify the missing value right after uh, identifying the missing value using uh, uh, read CSV right uh, previously I'm using F read uh, function uh, from a data table but now I'm changing a bit uh, by using a read.csv now by using read.csv uh, after I identify the missing data so I can begin to use this function 
right? So now, by using uh, HMISC package, uh, I already simultaneously uh, input all the variables, all the data for these 46 variables with min. So if you rerun again with the descriptor uh, library, descript, uh, descriptor data, so if you can see, there are basically there are all no missing value already so that all the data is heavy is already uh input with the mean value right so i think uh that's all for for this episode uh, i already show you how to identify variable with missing value i'm showing some option here and how to input the uh, missing data with mean or median so by manually impute the data or simultaneously input the data. So I think that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.